What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. All you new subscribers, welcome to the channel. I'm Barbas. So today I decided to paint the old man's fenders and his hood. So that's the fender over there. And I put the hood inside the shed so I wouldn't get any any particles on it. You guys can see how, how glossy this turned out. You still see a little bit of like particles on there, but it's not it's not that bad. His uh, truck's gonna end up way better than what it is right now. Um, my battery was dead on the GoPro, so I couldn't record the whole process. But I ended up using this right here, and basically, I mixed. Uh, what was it 16 ounces of this with four ounces of this stuff some paint thinner from Walmart I mixed it all in here threw it in the gun and I went ahead and I sprayed it I laid three coats and I really wish I would have recorded all of this but like I said the battery was dead I'm using the compressor and I went ahead and I shot it at 60 PSI, which is kind of high, but that's that's what I used. And it turned out really good, really shiny, really glossy. And I'm gonna let it dry up for a little bit. I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna take the fenders in the house, and then um, leave the the hood in here to dry completely for about 24 hours and then I'm gonna be installing it into this truck all right so I got this other fender that I gotta spray um, I went ahead and I cleaned it off with mineral spirits with the paint thinner that I have the same one that I used to mix the paint with and it looks like it's gonna rain so I'm gonna hurry up and lay my three coats down and take this to the basement so it could dry. I want to beat the rain. So I like to lay my first coat really thin. So that's what I'm going to do right now. Just to make everything tacky. Alright, this is the second coat. I'm gonna go a little bit thicker and start getting the color on there.
This is what it's just starting to look like with the second coat on there. The gun started to leak from behind the handle. So I had to put a that right there on here when I was spraying. I don't know if you guys noticed that when I first started spraying that I didn't have it. And then this huge drop came down and that's when I decided to grab that and put it on the handle. For some reason, this gun is defective or something. But this is a cheap gun from Harbor Fright. I think it was like $13, so something like that. And then this was like $2.99, the filter. I had to use this also at the bottom because as you can see, this filter is working, but it's, I don't know if you guys can see that, it's bubbling a little bit and there's water seeping through here. So I put that on there to catch any water while I'm going over the, the part. That way when I'm over the part, it's not leaking anything on there. Alright, so this is going to be the final coat on it. This one's going to go on really thick. I'm gonna let it dry up a few minutes, about 10 minutes, and then I'm gonna take it inside because this rain's about to start pretty soon.